One of the great mysteries of the universe is the incarnation of Jesus Christ, his complete, full, and true humanity, but also his genuine and true deity. And um, I suppose you would really have to be God to understand how the human nature and the divine nature are united in the person of Jesus Christ. But it's clear from the Bible that both of those things are true. It's obvious from the accounts in the Gospels that Jesus was a real man. He, he grew tired. He needed food. Uh, he, uh, he suffered the physical limitations of the body. And particularly, he offered his body up to death, uh, dying a, a bloody death on the cross. It's, it's clear that uh, Jesus was and is a true human being. But it's also clear from the testimony of the Bible and from what Jesus said about himself that he is also truly God. Uh, that he claimed to be the same Lord God as the God of the Old Testament, that he demanded and deserved to be worshipped as God, and, uh, and now has been exalted by God the Father to a place of, of rule and dominion over the entire universe. Um, to, uh, to believe in Jesus really is to believe both in his genuine humanity and his full and complete deity. And really both of those things are necessary for our salvation. Uh, we need a savior who himself has become flesh and blood. The Bible says uh, that uh, in order to save his brothers, Jesus had to be made like us. Uh, and yet in order to offer a perfect uh, atonement for our sins, uh, a an infinitely precious sacrifice. He, he also offered the very blood of God, you might say, uh, a perfect sacrifice based on his deity. And uh, both of these things are necessary for our salvation. They're both biblical truths. It's a great mystery. Uh, but we should believe what the Bible says about the deity and the humanity of Jesus Christ.